Let me, let me read a little bit more for you. Go back to, <coughs> excuse me, go back to 27. All right, the very next verse, <coughs> 28. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and there fell on the people that day about 3,000 men. For Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. Oh. They received a blessing for killing. Did y'all see that in the text? They received a blessing for taking out the enemies of God. Those who were bringing the camp down. So if I get rid of the cancer, I have a clear path to God. If I get rid of the riffraff, in my life, I have greater access to God. If I follow his instructions, I have greater access to God. Okay, and let me ask you the question. Who's willing to kill off those in your life that are bringing you down? And this is metaphorical, okay? Well, nobody going out there killing nobody. This means to remove those folks from your lives that are doing you harm and bringing you down and not allowing you to get closer to God. Sometimes it's a man in your life. Sometimes it's a woman in your life. Sometimes it's a job in your life. There are a whole lot of things, and you know what they are, that's keeping you from being successful in the Lord. And instead of you dealing with the situation, you overlook it. Or we think that we can handle the situation. But God said, there's no handling the situation. I need you to go out and destroy those who decided that they needed a golden image in order to worship them because it was the image, that golden image that it was just created that brought them from Egypt. What was they thinking? I mean, it just goes to show the human mind. I mean, when you look at the fact that these were people who were in slavery and they witnessed the plagues. And they did not partake of the plagues, but they could see the stuff happening. Ten plagues. Ten that they had a front row seat. Now, if you ever had a God working on your behalf, and you could see that he was moving in your favor. How in the world could any point in your life you turn back? If that wasn't enough, I saw the Red Sea parted right before my eyes. Now, I know where this river normally is, or this sea. And I know that it's impossible to cross uh, 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 any land where the water has been for a long time. It's a bunch of snow out there now, and the ground is real wet and soggy, but they passed through on dry land with two pillars of water on both sides. Now, while I'm walking through this Red Sea, I'm just going to tell you how I would be looking. 